Beat you up. Let's go to Matt in uh, his truck. Matt, what's up? Uh, yeah, I just had a comment about that lady uh, trainer. Amy? I thought that it's the lady trainer. Yeah. The Shamu trainer. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, I thought it sounded like a pretty uh, good idea to me. Um, the way I took it, it meant, you know, when I do the dishes, I get a blowjob. But when I come home from the strip club at 3 o'clock in the morning stinking, my wife just shuts the hell up and doesn't say anything about it. <laughs> and, you're, and you're proud of this? Well, no, I think that, that her technique sounds uh, beneficial, let's say. Really yeah. reward you with a twat? All right, good to know. All right, Matt, you thank go. you. <laughs> uh, I don't know if this would be of interest to anyone, but there was another guy that interviewed Amy, and he did it differently. He didn't challenge her on anything. This is uh, Brian Lehrer from WNYC. You want to take a listen here? See yes. See how much different it is? Brian Lehrer. I mean, people were always asked if I was surprised at how well that um, Colin did, how popular it became. And the thing is, is yes, I was surprised, but the original surprise was that the book about the animal training school, the previous book, um, would have such a personal effect on me. I mean, I'm a journalist. I just went to... You're not an animal trainer. Right. And I went to just hang out with this great subject of this top school for exotic animal trainers, and I left a year later personally transformed by that experience so remind our listeners or for those who haven't read why is rich voss interviewing that is exactly <laughs> yeah uh, holy jesus i thought it was voss i'm like what how did voss cross paths with this one experience so remind our listeners or for those who haven't read <laughs> your article how did you first apply animal training techniques to your marriage well so i was following uh students at the top school for exotic animal trainers for um my previous book kick bitten and scratched and so it's just i was following them as they learned the principles and then as they applied them on actual animals you know animals. Uh, uh, hyena animals. baboons uh water buffaloes you name it they had everything and it just really started to dawn on me that what they learned were these fundamental principles, behavioral principles, that they were applying to all species. So why wouldn't it work on the species Homo sapiens, species. and specifically American husband, mine at home? So, American you know, husband. I just... Uh, this guy has to, like, live. How great is it that we attack this cunt? Absolutely. The American husband, as yeah. I like to call them. It's, it's with her stupid big fucking teeth and her dry lips. It's, it's, I can't see my essence properly. She's got big gums and little teeth, Jim. Yeah, well, Poor she guy has been emasculated. He's yes. still got to hang out with his co-workers and his oh, friends and he stuff. He gave that up. Her he doesn't husband. give a shit. You know, I just uh, started trying to unravel some of our, or sort of, uh, solve some of our behavior problems between me and my husband using the way the animal trainers would think. Some of our behavior, like, no, not mm. once is she going to say, here's my fucking problem. Like, uh, Hell shut the no. fuck up. Is there, uh, should we continue? There's one more clip. Lion sack a cunt. Should we continue or what? Sure. Give me one example. Well, the prime example, I mean, um, the really prime example, the really sort of aha moment is that um, when animal trainers work with an animal and the animal does something they don't like, they will ignore it. Because the idea is that any attention can fuel that behavior you don't like. So um, they, call, they even have a term for it. <laughs> Jesus. We, we're all about bad behavior. Behavior, you bitch. Yeah. And it, and it would, it, 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 that, would, that would work if it wasn't just all about instincts. It, like, you can't go, when you're dealing with humans, you just can't think 20, I mean, 100% instinctive. It has to be, no, the we're, person has to be involved. We're even, reasonable, reasoning beings. Even the great dog whisperer, of, what's his name, um... Oh, what's that guy's name? Oh, that's right. You like that show. Oh, he's a, the great dog whisperer. He goes, you, you, you study the species, then you study the, the, the dog, and then you study the, uh, the animal itself. Like, it's still some principles to it. She has no principles. No. She's like watching somebody train dogs and then just added the, the techniques to human beings. But, and then she's lying about how this shit doesn't, like, she's not trying to run the relationship. She's a fucking asshole. Like, but she, I, I'm not even mad at her personally. All women are fucking that. They're assholes. <laughs> They're all trying to do that. Sneaky bitches. Like, it's just stop. Mm -hmm. Stop. Caesar Milan, by the way. Caesar Milan. And guys who, like this guy that called in, oh, she rewards me with it. That's what women, they have, we have boiled ourselves down to just t t twat awards. <laughs> 
fuck out of here. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for letting me stick my dick in there. Thanks. My fucking sex drive is disappearing by the hour. <laughs> <laughs> Bitch needs to control me with something else. It ain't no pussy no more. I'll tell you that much. <laughs> so... Um, they call. They even have a term for it. They call it the least reinforcing scenario because marine mammal trainers like to have names for everything. Chapter eight of your book: the least reinforcing <laughs> scenario. Yeah. On a fire dryer. So, uh, <laughs> yeah. Door. Door. Now it's Norm Macdonald. <laughs> so, um, so my husband uh, loses things all the time. Uh, primarily his keys. Unfortunately, and his not you. Hopefully, the brake cables to your fucking car. <laughs> <laughs> fucking immaculate <laughs> hole. <laughs> <laughs> fucking plow into an embankment. Loses things all the time. His penis and testicles. Yeah. It was in your purse, you right. fucking overbearing Yeah, he left them at the altar. <laughs> yeah. When I went off to fucking animal camp and had my asshole licked by a fucking chihuahua for six weeks. Let's see how she handles the losing of the key scenario mm. with her husband. Oh. Ugh. She's a, a treat. Yeah. So, um... So my husband uh, loses things all the time, uh, primarily his keys and his wallet. And when he does this, he would have it would really, you know, frustrate him, and there would be a lot of stomping around and heavy sighing and all that. And I had always tried to help, and if I didn't help, I would, you know, offer suggestions of how this wouldn't happen in the future. But what the point was, I was always engaged. you would rag him about it. Uh, yeah, exactly. She would be like, "Well, you know, if you kept him here, you wouldn't lose him." It's like I would offer helpful hint. That's not a fucking helpful hint. Do you remember when you last had him? <laughs> yeah, we want to be talked down to uh, like that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I remember. That's it. Thanks for fucking pointing that out. Yeah. Oh, do you, you know? Well, if you put a clip on it. Or maybe if you left him in one spot all the time. Mm. Yeah, just but what the point was, I was rag. always engaging. So this least reinforcing scenario, which I heard about at... Holy shit, now I get an instant feedback that came in about an hour and a half ago. Hmm. It's Carol Miller to the person I was asking. Holy shit. The interviewer sounds like Rich Voss. She sounds a lot like Carol. A Miller. little like Carol. Because someone out of nowhere is like, who is that DJ that you guys worked with at NEW? I'm like, what does this have to do with anything? But it just finally hit me. Sorry. It does the sound point like was, I was always engaging. So this well, least reinforcing do. scenario, which do. I heard about at SeaWorld, made me think, like, why not that's where she should live. one of those <laughs> and not respond? Yeah, that's cunt. <laughs> and that's what I did the next time my husband was huffing puffing over keys. And it's not that... He didn't huff and puff, but it like ended so quickly. Were you trying to get him to not lose his keys in his wallet, or to no. not be so upset about it? To not be so upset about it. So that's the trick. So I mean, that's I mean, that's the terrible. point of it. Is that I? That's what I had picked. I mean, the man still loses his and keys. Who is this uh -huh. fucking like, cocksucker who gives a shit? As a yeah. badger will always dig, my husband will forever lose his wallet. I mean, it's almost like instinctive behavior. How about you put a basket in your cunt and let him throw his stuff in there when he comes home? <laughs> <laughs> rotten twat. Like, my anger is never, like, based on my girl's participation. Like, I'm sitting there like, like, women, here's the thing, women are goofy. They can't just sit there and let you be. If they're into you, they, oh. they love emotion like it's crack. So if it's some around, they want a part of it. <laughs> so if you're sitting there like, motherfucker, where's my keys? This... This idiotic bitch, th there's no way she cannot join in. Right. This She can't not join in. And even if he's looking for it, if this asshole is looking for her to, to join in, that's just, that's not even what men do. If I'm banging around looking for my keys, it's because, fuck, I need to get the fuck out of here. I'm trying to drive. It's not yeah. like, sweetie, this is a participation. You should be angry for shit. Get the fuck out of here. I'm having trouble coping Half with the time losing she's like, my can keys. I help you lose your keys? Can I help you find them? I don't get... Do you know what that bitch? Like I like, <laughs> exactly. Get out of here. That's ridiculous. This Do is you ridiculous. Know or not? That's all I need from you right now. Ridiculous, man. Right. This is just ridiculous. Women are always trying to find it because they don't have any fucking skills or charm. They just don't. <laughs> They fucking don't. <laughs> and and uh, good news, Patrice is writing a book on relationships. Yeah. Finally. Good. Yeah. It's going to be an amazing read. I'm Always telling you right now. Always trying to figure out some shit. I'm telling you right now. Yeah. Why don't they figure out how to get dick? Uh, <laughs> and they don't have to know. They don't. No. They, just, they get dick because they have a vagina. That's why they have no skills or charm. Here, here's my vagina, and some asshole's going, uh, when I come home and I smell good, I get them. When I get shit. You know how much I love jerking off? Like, <laughs> I jerk off like it's pussy. Like, I'm like my girl thinks I'm cheating on her because I'm like, ah, I don't, you know. Uh, but it's just, uh, it just it's, it's, it's easier. It, it just, like, stop. 
pussy's not a. That's when you're 20. Pussy's like a magical thing that you need to get like this car. <laughs> that, <laughs> magical. Like if you turn it's forty, 40 you and don't logical at the same time. Hold <laughs> you are 40, hilarious. Forty years old, you're like so you'd eh. rather just jerk off to crazy images on the uh, yeah, just, on just, the internet instead of getting the real thing. Uh, just go, I love you, sweetie. But do you realize my love is just that's why I don't want to fuck you as much because I love you. You need the lust. If I was just you're looking for the lust. Yeah, if you was an object. Yeah. If you oh, was just a, a something I could just stick at a hole. <laughs> if you was a hole, it'd be different. But I love you. I don't want to treat you like a dirty, rotten hole no more. This bitch. <laughs> I got the title of your book. Ooh. <laughs> Mars and Venus Revisited. <laughs> 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 Fucking shit. <laughs> Damien uh, from Akron writes, uh, Patrice better title it Fighting for Dick Space. Fighting for Dick Space. All right.